Hey guys, it's Tanika and welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got a Kmart haul. I have a bunch of Kmart goodies to show you today. They have literally been killing it with their releases. Like, I'm just looking around at the things I got. And <laughs> if you're excited for this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more Kmart related videos, then I will leave my playlist linked down in the description box for you. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna start with some clothes, shoes, accessories, you know, that kind of area. So first of all, I have two clothing items and they are both in this linen fabric, which is really on trend at the moment, if you hadn't noticed, and Kmart has picked up on that. First up, I have this high-waisted mini skirt in this white and kind of like peachy pink striped pattern. It has a zip down the side here and it also comes with a belt. It is actually attached at the back so you can't fully take it off, but it just ties up on the side over here, looking nice and cute. I do find the material is a little bit see-through, but if you just wear some nude undies, then you don't need to worry about it. The length is also really nice. It's not extremely short, like I can still bend over without everyone seeing my bits. I picked this one up in a size eight. It is, look, it's a little bit tight, but I can do it up. It's just, you know, uncomfortable if I sit down and then my rolls bulge over the top. It has no stretch to it, so I think a size 10 would have been better, but they didn't have any in stock at the time and I just really wanted it, so I guess I'm gonna have to get skinny. I don't have the receipt anymore, so I can't remember how much it was, but I'm going to say $15 or less. I'm gonna say $12 is my guess. And then these pants I only picked up yesterday. So again, they're in that linen-y, linen They're in that linen type fabric. They have a little bow detail at the front here. And then the back is stretchy. I like a stretchy waist. I also got these in a size eight and they do fit me quite comfortably. I think it's because it's got that stretchy band, you know? <laughs> these ones were $18 and they are that wide leg, culotte type pants so they come down to like mid calf area when i tried these on again they were a little bit see-through so go with your nude undies over your black and you should be fine also they have pockets i'm not going to put anything in them but you know i just like pockets okay. next i got a pair of shoes and they are giving me like major spice girl vibes they are these platform sandals these come in two different shades you've got nude and the black Obviously, I got the black, and I'll just show you a little close-up of the pattern that's on the shoe. It's actually really nice. I got a size 9 because I have a gigantic foot, but these are actually a lot more comfortable than they look. On the side here, you've got this little, like, stretchy bit. I don't know if you can see that. See that? So when you, like, bend down and your foot bends, the shoe goes with you. It's not just, like, this big clump of wood at the bottom of your foot, you know? I'm really digging these shoes at the moment. I think it's a nice way to kind of dress up an outfit without having to put on uncomfortable high heels. When I bought these, they were $17, but I saw them in Kmart yesterday on sale for $12. So I'm a little bit hurt, but that's okay. Next, I got two pairs of earrings and Kmart is bringing in like, you know, they're going down a different route. It's like, bye-bye tassels, hello, Tortoise shell. So firstly, I got these little tortoise shell hoops and they've got a bit of a gold detailing on the bottom here and up here. I just think that they are so cute and the range that is in store at the moment is amazing. There were so many earrings to choose from. I was like, Tanika, calm down. You don't need 85 pairs of tortoise shell earrings. So instead of getting another pair similar to those, I end up going with these ones here. They're like a white kind of pearlescent finish. They give me like real 60s vibes. I'll just pop it in and show you. Like. <laughs> They're really different to what I currently have in my little earring collection. And for only $4, I may as well try them out. This style also come in this darker color here. So if that's more your thing, then 
go check them out. And then lastly for the accessories, I picked up one of the neoprone bags and I got the baby pink and black shade. So this is that really weird material. It feels like a wetsuit. So it is a bit strange. And when they were first released, I think they come in like a black and a navy blue. I was like, they're weird. Like who? is buying those bags. And then I saw one of my friends had a gray one and I was like, you know what? That's actually really cute. I'm gonna get one. So this one was $20 and as you can see, it is quite big, like, and it also comes with a little zip wallet thing on the inside if you need to put your cards or your keys or anything. It is just open, no clip or zip, but oh my god, I just think it is super cute, super handy if you just need to go somewhere overnight and you need to chuck a few things in, or if you're going out on a day trip and you just need a bit of a bigger bag, this is it. This is where it's at. Next, I'm gonna go down the beauty category and I am so freaking excited to show you this. Oh my God. If you're into makeup and all that jazz and need some lighting, this is where it's at. So this is the round LED table lamp and it is just like a miniature ring light. And it was only $20, $20. So as you can see, it is quite big. It's like, hmm, I hope that gives you a good example. So it just plugs in and you've got your little switch here. So this is what it looks like off. And look at it on, oh my God, so bright. It has a matte black finish, which is just so sleek. It looks really nice. I'm not really sure how you would replace the bulb if you ever needed to, but it does come with a one year warranty as well, if it ever breaks. If you have to do your makeup in like a dark room where the lights aren't good, it casts shadows, or you don't have any natural light, this is the way to go. I would seriously run down to your Kmart and pick one of these up, because I have a feeling they're gonna be hot property. Next, I went into the makeup section and picked up a whole bunch of the OXX Studio makeup, because I was thinking, of doing a video trying it out. So let me know down below if that is something you would want to see. But for the meantime, let me just show you a few things. So firstly, I've got the Berry Collection eyeshadow palette and this one comes with 15 shades. They're actually really pretty shades. Can we take a moment? I'm yet to try them out and to be honest, I don't have really high hopes. It's only a $10 eyeshadow palette, but these shades look really pretty, so I don't know. I'm kind of hoping it works. And then I picked up a few other products. I've got the highlight palette. I've got a matte finish pressed powder and a baked blush. I did pick up a concealer, but not a foundation because they're just too dark. Like it's not going to work for my fair skin. It's just not. I don't even think the concealer will work, but I'll give it a go. See how the formula is. You know, not everyone's as pasty as me. The thing I am most excited about from the OXX Studio Makeup are their eyelashes. They actually have some really nice styles. So these here are the Glamour Lashes in the style Nicola. They actually look nice and wispy. They don't look really plasticky and fake. So I'm excited to try those out. But then these lashes here, Oh my god. They're not for everyone. They're very dramatic. They are the Faux Mink Glamour Lashes. This is the style Chloe. And this is the style Katie. Super dramatic. They only cost $5.50 each. I am so excited to try these out and see what they look like on because Faux Mink Lashes like this, you can be paying you know, a bit more than $5.50 a pair. So if these are, oh, what? As I was saying, if these are amazing, I'm going to be shouting it from the rooftop. Next, I picked up this letter organizer from the stationery section, but what I bought it for is for my eyeshadow palettes. I thought it would be a really nice way to display some of my favorite looking palettes. So let me just put them back in and I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, 
So you can fit two palettes per slot. I've just got one in the back there at the moment, but two fit in the front nicely there. I think this was only like four or six dollars. It wasn't expensive at all. And it's just a really nice way to, you know, show off some of your prettier palettes. Oh my God. Yeah, I nearly just dropped it again. Moving on to some stationery because, you know, your girl loves stationery. I picked up some notepads. So this was a two pack of notepads. The first one, baby pink, says notes on it. And then the next one is like some greenery, says notes on it. These are just, you know, your plain old lined paper. I don't know what else there is to say about a notebook. <laughs> but I personally love writing things down. Like I don't like to organize things in my phone. I need a calendar, a notepad. I need pen and paper, okay? I need pen and paper. I can't remember the price. I really should have kept the receipt. I'm so sorry. I will try and link everything that is still available down below. Next, I got a weekly planner and I haven't seen this style in store before. So it's got a nice floral pattern up the top and then it's just gray. You know, you've got your Monday to Sunday. The squares are left blank so you can fill it in to whatever month you need. The only thing that I wish, you know, if came, it came, but, came up. If you want to make these notepads just, just top them off, make them just a bit better, please put a heavy duty magnet on the back because at the moment I've got one magnet that I use and once I'm done with the calendar, I'll rip it off and then Clinton's got like this real heavy duty glue in the garage and I glue it on to my next calendar and stick it on the fridge. So if these had some heavy duty magnets, that would be absolutely top notch. Top notch, I never say that, okay. <laughs> and then lastly for stationery, I picked up a 2019 diary. So this one is more of a soft cover. It's not hard. It's kind of like a fake leather, I guess you would say. So this one has 2019 imprinted in the front there. And what I love about this one, all right, all right, is that every page is large. Like this is your Wednesday. This is your Thursday. I literally like to write a to-do list every day. Like that's how lame I am. Even the smallest things like vacuum floors, cook dinner, put on washing, like <laughs> stupid shit. I just like to write it down because it feels so good inside of me when I tick that off and I'm just like, <laughs> Look at all these things I've done. Anyone else in the same boat? Like, please, please be in the same boat as me, okay? <laughs> and then the last thing I have to show you is quite random. This is it here. It's a yoga stretch band. So it's like quite hard to stretch and you're meant to use it for like, you know, helping stretch your back and stretch your legs and things like that for when you're doing yoga. But I got it because I'm on my feet all day at work and I get really, really tight calves and they just hurt so much. So while I'm being a slob laying on the couch, I just like to put my foot in like this and just ah, stretch out my legs. And oh my God, it feels so good. I am obsessed with this. It is like one of my favorite things I've ever bought from Kmart. I think it was only $8 as well. So I don't usually venture into the exercise section, but I'm so glad I did because this little baby is my new favorite. All right, well, that is everything I have to show you today. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite item was that I hauled today. As I said, I will link my Kmart playlist down below if you want more. Otherwise, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.